Hi everyone. So the poet that I would like to introduce for this project, his name is Javier Zamora. After reading a few of his poems, I do feel like he is the poet that has stood out the most to me as of now. So to share a few interesting facts, um, Javier Zamora was born in 1990 in El Salvador. He had a really rough upbringing due to the fact that his country was in civil war around the time he was born and his parents chose to flee to the United States when he was five years old and they left him in the care of his grandparents up until the age of nine. When he turned nine, he himself decided to flee to the United States by himself. What I find very interesting about this poet's life is that at such a young age, he showed so much resilience and so much endurance because he did choose to leave his home country by himself with no family and no friends, no one except for just his companion immigrants that came with him. Um, he went through El Salvador and he went through Mexico on foot and on bus under the lead of his coyote. A coyote is basically a person that helps illegal immigrants cross the border as safely as possible, although it's still really not that safe. Um, during those times, uh, he did go through a lot of trauma due to the fact that it's just very dangerous and he went through all that he went through all that by himself which i find very interesting because again he was only nine years old however he did make it through the border and ended up in arizona and eventually made his way to california and reunited with his parents so there was a good ending there um when he got to high school his senior year that's where he found his passion for poetry and ever since then he really continued the learning route of being a good poet. He attended many schools and he's won many awards for his poetry. Um, the style of poetry that he does is very emotional. It's actually kind of sad at times, but they're very powerful in the messages that he gives. Um, they're pretty, his poems are pretty concise. They're not that long, but they do offer a lot of visual context. And I genuinely like that because it gives you a feel of what he was feeling at the time or what he was seeing and it really provides an in-depth story of his journey. Um, most of his poems that I have read are about his journey through the border and I think that they are very very moving especially because again these are memories that he had when he was nine years old so for him it was very very traumatic and i think he does an amazing job at showing that through his poetry um out of all his poetry poems i mean um the sec the my favorite line comes from his poem titled second attempt crossing and the line is farewell your brown arms that shielded me then that shield me now from La Migra. And the reason that that line really stuck with me is because it really just shows that he really didn't have anyone there for him except for strangers that were crossing the border with him. And in that poem, he's talking about a friend who, now, well, they're friends now, but back then they just were crossing the border together. And because he was so young and his friend was older, his friend protected him from La Migra, which is immigration and if you get caught, obviously they would send you back and he didn't want to be sent back. He wanted to continue to a better life in the United States. So a lot of times um, his friend protected him. And in this poem specifically, he talks about how um, the gangs from El Salvador found his friend in the United States and they murdered him. And this poem is kind of, of like a goodbye to him and thanking him for shielding him and protecting him from all the dangerous things that they went through when they were crossing the border and I thought that was very moving because he talks about how his arms shielded him then obviously when they were going through the journey of crossing the border and how his arms shield him now and that's more like of a friendship because they talk on the phone and they're there for each other and it's like in a way he kept him sane and was his friend but now that his friend is dead it's kind of like you know his friends no longer there anymore so that line really really struck me um from his poem but yeah that's about it um again Javier Zamora I really really like him as a poet and I feel like you guys should check him out too thank you